What's going on everyone, Daniel Rodriguez here, it's time to review The Flash, Season 2, Episode 15, titled King Shark. Spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode, should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Real quick, I know I have my green, uh, my Breaking Bad magazine missing right there, man. Uh, I, you know, I, it's literally on the floor right there, I just haven't got the step ladder and all that, so yeah, I know there's a green space right there, and I, I gotta fill up something there, man, I have a few more magazines or paper and posters that I could put right there, uh, just little, you know, little tidbits right there. Uh, anyway, man, The Flash is on a break now, uh, once I recap this, you know, and tell you my stuff I like, stuff I don't like about this episode, it will return March 22nd, which is, uh, like, oh, <laughs> You know, it's a month break, basically, you know, uh, less than a month break. Uh, I mean, all right, man, I would, I'd rather have two weeks off, but I guess, like, four weeks off is more of a, more thing for The Flash. I guess they're taking a break, you know, like, the actors take a little break. All right, you know, whatever, man, go ahead. Uh, I know I'm behind on Arrow. I have not reviewed Arrow for a while, man. It's been it's been since episode 11. I haven't even seen episode 11 yet. I have them recorded. I know I gotta get to them, man. I know we're on episode 15 or 16 already. I know I gotta get to the Arrow, man. I'm sorry. I'll catch up. I promise. And Agents of Shoot, gotta catch up on that. Gotta catch up on Agent Carter. I have these recorded, man. Let me get them. Uh, I gotta get them down. I know. I know. I'm I'm a little running behind. So here we go. Flash King Shark. First off, man, King Shark escapes. Uh, from Argus, you know, Argus ended up having them, they, you know, but Diggle and Lila arrived to Central City, man, they're back, or, you know, it's always good, because Lila and Diggle, again, I haven't seen Arrow since episode 11, so, apparently Amanda Waller died, so I did not know that whatsoever, so thanks a lot for spoiling it, Diggle and Lila, every damn time you're on screen, well, it went down with Amanda Waller, oh, that about Amanda Waller, thanks for spoiling it, you jackasses. Maybe someone didn't watch her over the past few weeks, man. Maybe you should think about that. Thank you a lot. So anyway, Caitlin is sad and angry over Jay because, of course, Jay Garrick was pulled back to Earth 2 and the portal got destroyed. So they're trying to locate King Shark, man. They end up finding uh, the wife. Uh, now, before King Shark, you know, turned into King Shark, he was a man. He was a regular guy named Shay Lambden. So, of course, they find the wife of Shay Landon. Uh, they end up talking to her, man. Caitlin's a little rude, man. Caitlin's in a mood, you know, she has a bad attitude, you know, almost like she's changing into somebody else. So, anyway, Flash wants to move on. He just, he just wants to totally move on from all this, you know, he wants to just go back to being the Flash, as in, like, you know, he just wants to move on from everything uh, of Earth 2, he doesn't want to remember all that stuff, and King Shark attacks uh, these two guards, Flash attacks Barry's house, uh, no, I'm sorry, Flash uh, attacks, uh, or the King Shark, I'm sorry, I'm a little mixed up, guys, King Shark attacks Barry's house, because he's looking for the Flash, and Wally is there, Wally West is there, man, so of course Barry is like, oh my god, you know, he ends up running, you know, which was one thing because I, I don't know how, man. I never knew. I don't I don't know much about King Shark, and King Shark is a fast runner, man, or he literally, he's a fast guy. He literally is not as fast as the Flash, but he literally, when he started running after the Flash, dude, I was freaking scared out of my mind, uh, which, of course, now the West family has a huge hole in their house that I guess... The next episode will be fixed up and boarded up and all that, you know, so I guess that's fine. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, Wally's like, you guys know there's a big hole in your house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, trust me, it's a norm. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that happens. Uh, Caitlin learns about Killer Frost. This girl ends up telling her. And basically, uh, they confront uh, Killer Frost. Uh, excuse me, Killer Frost. They end up, uh, Flash ends up confronting Killer uh, uh, King Shark. Uh, he ends up escaping. Wally is mad. He ends up, uh, you know, Wally's mad. And Barry tries to, like, get with him and everything and trying to, like, bond, basically. Like, you know, Wally's either jealous of Barry, you know, that sort of sense, because, like, oh, you know, Barry this, Barry that. Joe and Iris, you always talk about Barry, blah, 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 Barry, Barry, Barry this, Barry that. So, of course, you know, I'm your real son sort of thing, so they end up trying to bond or 
Barry's trying to help him out with this engine car thing that he's working on, and you know, you kind of just they kind of get in a mood while he's like easily like bitchy, and he's like, you know what? You know, I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll work on my own, okay? And Barry's like, Wally, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm just kind of just giving you ideas, tips, man. So Wally's kind of angry, man. So anyway, uh, he Barry ends up telling Joe and Iris about Earth 2 and what happened on how Joe died on Earth 2 and how Iris was basically Barry's wife in Earth 2, man. So that kind of, you know, like, well, Barry, you know... That's Earth 2, you know, I mean, thanks for telling us, but we love you, I mean, you know, all that, you know, Joe does this whole speech, and Caitlyn uh, messes with Cisco. I love this, man, Caitlyn messes with Cisco uh, all the time about being like, ugh. she always uses puns about Killer Frost, like, oh, I'm cold, ain't I, or like, a bunch of stuff like that, uh, and Cisco's backing up and everything, and you know, they don't do that, man, my heart's you know, hurting and everything. That was awesome as well. So Flash and Killer Shark, their final battle, man, there in the port, D uh, Diggle and Layla, or Lila are there. There's a big chase going on. He electrifies King Shark in the water, and Barry apologizes to the group, basically. Uh, you know, sorry that we cre I created Zoom, or, you know, like, saying as in, like, the portals, it's all my fault. If I would have just done this and that, you know, none of this would have happened. So we basically just apologizes to the group, and we will defeat Zoom. We will defeat Zoom, and of course, you know, Harrison Wells is back there. How? How will we defeat Zoom? And, you know, because <laughs> everyone's like, all right, Barry, yeah, well, we will defeat Zoom. And then you have Harrison Wells. How? <laughs> Always got to ruin it, Wells, don't you? And of course, Jay is dead in Earth 2. Jay Garrick's dead. But Zoom takes off his mask. Well, this is a bit of a problem. Jay Garrick is Jay Garrick. Uh, Jay Garrick killed Jay Garrick and his hostaging, or actually has the real Jay Garrick hostage. Now, I'm not going to go into speculation right now at the moment. I do think, obviously, it's Hunter Zolomon. I think they've already confirmed that, the, the, the Guggenheim and all them, that that is Hunter Zolomon. Uh, and we've already seen him in Earth 1 when he was sitting down on the bench. That was Zoom. Basically, that's sort of the thing. So I'm not going to go much into detail, but I'm, it's Hunter's Old Run, basically, is Zoom. Pretty much Professor Zoom. So, cool, man. That's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, you know, I think the real man in the mask, the Iron Mask, is the real Jay Garrick, you know. Where I come from, they call me the Flash. That'd be cool, man. Anyway, what did I think about this episode overall, guys? Let me give you the pros, man. First off, King Shark, dude. The effects... And the voice, man, the man who uh, voiced uh, Solid, Snake and Metal Gear Solid, man, uh, David Hainter, something like that, man, that actor, voice actor. Awesome job, man. Very scary, very intimidating. The effects looked awesome. They were believable. I love the King Shark effects and his design, man. He was very, truly a terrifying villain. Uh, as well as the action in here. I mean, come on, that chase in the water scene and then the effects of Barry. Like, this was actually cool because it was showing him running in water, slow motion, and then he freaking lightning bolts that, you know, the shark, man. That was really, really, really a beautiful money shot right there. Uh, the ending of the episode, actually revealing the identity of Zoom. That was another awesome thing, man. I didn't really expect them to... I didn't expect it to be Jay, because I remember uh, I watched it a day afterwards, and they said that the Zoom identity is revealed. I'm like, who is it? Is it Henry Allen? It ended up being Hunter Zolomon or Jay Garrick, you know, the same actor plays Jay Garrick, so that was really awesome. Caitlin asking... Uh, or Caitlin acting like Killer Frost. Daniel Panabaker, man, she was awesome as Killer Frost. I loved it. She was having such a fun time. I, I want to see more Killer Frost. We are going to see more... But actually, you know, like, I'm never going to become Killer Frost. I, I've already checked myself. I'm not a metahuman and all that. Like, I love the way that she is just... The way she plays around with Cisco and everything and, you know, <laughs> scaring him and everything. Oh, I'm so cold, you know. Always with the bad puns as well. So anyway, Earth 2 Joe and Iris explanation when, when, when Barry and them were having the conversation. I thought that was a really... A uh, very hard conversation to have, man, and basically telling his feelings and the Iris and Joe from over there, how, you know, like, Joe's like, well, I'm still here sort of thing, you know, like, because Joe was dead over there. So, you know, it's just basically protecting the family, and, you know, that's very hard stuff to say. If you go to another Earth and, you know, your friend dies and you come back to Earth 1, they're still alive, and you're like, hey, you know, 
Sorry, it was my fault you died in Earth 2. So. Uh, and also, puns for Caitlyn. Like I said, the puns were awesome. I think the writing was very funny. Cisco is amazing in here. So the regular Team Flash is very awesome this week. Now the only cons about this episode, man, for, for, for me, the whole house attack when Wally West was there and Barry, all that sort of stuff there, really a hole in the, in the house, and then it's just sort of like, I am looking for the Flash. You know, I am here for the Flash. You know, that sort of sense, man. And then all of a sudden, Barry backs up. But then Wally, later on, he's like, yeah, well, you're a coward. Didn't he say that or something, like, to Barry? Well, you're a coward. Something like that. Just like the Punisher says to Daredevil in the in the new trailer, or in the, the trailer a few weeks ago. I see you as a half measure. I think you're a coward. That whole thing there with Daredevil, man, and now with Wally West and the Flash, man, Barry Allen. That whole, now, that was cool, that whole, like, whole thing there, but still, Wally's attitude in here, man. Wazily, uh, Wazily, what's Wazily? That's a new name now, Wazily. Wally. Wally. Wally easily made me mad. Literally, this episode, and I liked him last week, man. I liked him the other week, man. And this episode just made me more pissed off at Wally. I was like, really, dude, you're being a douche now. You're really going back to that, like, really? And Oh, and that's the time when Joe told Wally about how his mom died and everything. And that was an excellent part, man. I forgot to put that in my prose. That was a beautiful, excellent part. I thought that was so awesome, the way that just Joe explained it, the speech, but you're still my son, I love you, I can't, I don't favor Barry over, yeah, you, you're equal, man. That was really awesome. Uh, but Diggle and Lila, dude, I know, I know, what do you not like Diggle and Lila, just, I, I, you know, I like Diggle, man, and Nero, I like Lila, I think they're cool people, but it didn't feel right when Diggle, like, the, his, the actor, David Ramsey, it, it just didn't feel right, it, it I don't know his acting, which he's not a great actor by no means. He's okay. But it just felt off. It felt off. It didn't feel like Diggle. It, you know, it, it just didn't feel right. I know. I, and really, when you think about it, we didn't really need Diggle and Lila. I mean, let's just be honest. We really, really didn't need them. But, you know, because it's Argus and the whole storyline, and I'm spoiling about Amanda Waller to me, I guess. So. Overall, guys, I'm going to end up giving this Flash Season 2, Episode 15, King Shark Episode a B+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching the episode or and also watching the review, man. Uh, tell me, man. Comment down below. Tell me your favorite parts about King Shark and what you want to see with Hunter Zolomon as uh, Professor Zoom. Who do you think? Uh, you know what? What do you think is going to happen next, man? March twenty second, tra uh, trajectory ends up coming. I believe that's the name of the the girl, the new speedster coming along. So we'll see what goes on, man. I'll see you guys in a month. Make sure to check out all my other reviews. I do movie reviews weekly, man. Just reviewed The Witch, Deadpool, Zoolander too, man. Eddie the Eagles coming up a lot, lot more. So check them out, guys. If you want to support the channel? Hit that subscribe button. Really would appreciate that. Hit that uh, like button, man. Until next time, I'll see you in a flash.